back this way a little bit. Perfect. Hi everyone, this is Eric and this is a video about a three degrees of freedom Stuart platform. So a Stuart platform is basically like a motion table. It normally has either three or six actuators that help it move um, in multiple degrees of freedom. So the six actuators is normally six degrees of freedom and this one's three, so it's three degrees of freedom. It's typically used for like um, motion simulation applications. So like you can imagine like in a, a jet fighter simulator or you know like even those amusement park roller coaster things they have these in like large scale to simulate all these different motions. So this was done for a final project um, in my electrical engineering class called microcontrollers. And I worked on it with my two best buds, Patty and Adam. And we just finished it a couple days ago and demoed it and it was great. So I just wanted to talk about it. So basically you can see most of the mechanical design is just or mechanical structures, acrylic that was laser cut. So this is a totally custom CAD, totally custom design. Uh, we have kind of a table down here to hold the electronics, uh, the main platform that holds all the stepper motors, and then the actual table itself. So I'll talk a little bit more about the components. So we have, these are NEMA 14s, uh, 1.8 degree, 200 steps revolution uh, steppers. They're bipolars, bipolar stepper motors. We have three of those. Um, down back there on the breadboard are the stepper drivers, and these are from Pololu. They're DRV8825s, I believe. I'll put it in the description if that's wrong. Um, and those are the drivers for each of the steppers. Then we've got uh, these, I think it's called Avago encoders. These are optical encoders with extremely high precision. Unfortunately, we did not get them working because we didn't have time, typical. But uh, they're there, and they look, they look dope. So we got a lot of custom 3D printed mounts. So these mounts were 3D printed to hold the stepper and the encoder in place. Um, and they're positioned you know, symmetrically 120 degrees apart. Uh, then we've got the actual main arm is also 3D printed. These are Mark Forge printed parts out of nylon. Uh, these are just ball ends and rod ends for like you know RC cars that we used. Uh, we got a lot of M3 metric hardware holding everything together. We made some little adapters on the ends of the table to actually hold the rod end shaft. So the mechanical design is pretty solid. There's actually very little play in the system. Um, it's all very smooth motion and it's pretty sexy. So electronics wise we have the class, the class mic controller that we had to use is it's a PIC32. So this is the PIC32 stick that's actually programming this chip right here. The PIC32 uh, chip is this one. And this is kind of a breakout board that helps run a, a TFT display and nice breakout for all the pins. So controlling this table, we have an accelerometer. Uh, this is an MPU 6050. And we're just using uh, I squared C protocol for the accelerometer values to translate the orientation of the accelerometer into the orientation of the table. So we had a lot of um, a lot of math to do. One of, one of the guys on our team, Patty, did a lot of matrix transformations to determine, depending on the two angles that this outputted, which were theta and phi. So essentially, this, is a, this table can rotate in this axis right here, or this axis. So the accelerometer outputted those two angle values, I mean not directly, but you can derive those two angle values given the accelerometer readings. And then those two angle values were inputted into an algorithm that was able to output the, the uh, angles of each of the stepper motors. So basically how many steps they had to take to get the table to mimic the angle of the accelerometer. So again, whatever you do here, the table mimics. And I'm going to show you, show you that. So it was quite a lot of math and a lot of dynamics that had to be done. There was some MATLAB simulations done, all thanks to Patty, what a boss. Um, and now I'm gonna show you it working. All right, so here it is on. You missed the startup, but when you turn it on, the table raises to a certain height, just so it has room to move. And now I'm gonna show you kind of how it works. So you can see if I hold it level, 
it stays there. And if I move in this axis, these two motors move, but the back one does it. If I move it, pitch it like this, the tail moves like that. So overall, it's pretty sensitive. You can do some pretty cool movements with it. It's actually very smooth. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go in the code in this video, but you can comment about it if you want me to send it. And yeah, so now I'm gonna put a ball on top of it and see how it performs. All right, so here we have with the ball on it, and I'm just gonna show you, I made a little maze for it, and I'm just gonna show you it moving. So you can control the table tilt to get it going. So it's pretty controllable, as you can see, I can do some pretty fluid motions. I can even kind of reverse the direction of it. It's a lot of fun to play with, very smooth. So yeah, 